What's going on guys? Look, look, I got all the moas washed yesterday. It wasn't supposed to rain at all, but uh, you can thank me later if you live in, okay, look at this thing, man. Six years old, six years old and still looks good, clean. I mean, golly, uh, you can thank me later. It's freaking raining. Woke up this morning, wasn't a chance in Snowball's Cracker that it was going to rain. And uh, wake up this morning and now guess what, it's raining. Uh, so yeah, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, birdie. So um, yeah, ta-da, right? Uh, so fixing to get loaded up, leave. Uh, Cause it looks like it's just gonna be like a little pass-through shower. Uh, oh, I got a new, new head. Um, so I'm gonna let y'all know about this thing. So this is, this is the head from, uh, I don't know who it's from exactly. Well, it's from, uh, what you call it? Uh, it's the Auto Wind, Auto Winder Pro or something from Rhino Tough. And this is their line that came with it. Uh, the wine's not crazy bad. Uh, as you can tell, it don't fray by any means, but, uh, and it, it's just like a speed feed, guys. Like, check this out. Look at this. Watch this. Whoop. But, uh, <clears throat> but, uh, just like a speed feed head. And, you know, I haven't really messed with it too much. And I got some new string. Uh, cause, you know, I'm all about trying twisted string out. So, there's another twisted string that I found, uh, on the market. So, I bought it. It's not this stuff. Um, and that's the black diamond, so it's not that neater. But, uh, so yeah, I'm going to try it and see what it's all about as well. So anyway, let's get going. Don't forget, put my Defender Racks, guys. Code Lanier, just the L-A-N-I-E-R. Go check them out. Look, look at that blower rack. Woo, I just got that covered up. I don't know why I don't have Whatever, anyway. Uh, Darwin's Grip, Code Lanier 10. Boop, boop. I love that thing for some reason. And uh, I got the other one in the truck that I'm going to set on this one uh, because once that line runs out, I'm going to change it out and that way I can test it against some black diamond. So anyway, let's uh, let's get loaded up here and move it on. Hey, look, look at this, look, it's a new day. Uh, yeah, well, anyway, so I didn't get no footage yesterday. I started the, the day and then man, like I was just, I felt good. I felt like I was hustling. So anyway, uh, I got some new toys in that I'm gonna have to show you. It's pretty cool stuff. So I had a flat on this tire. There was a piece of metal in it. Now mind you, these are like 10 ply or 12 ply tires. So there was like a piece of metal in it in a spot and then in another spot, like halfway around the tire, there was a stupid screw. Um, so I was like, okay, I'll pull the tire off. I'll, you know, plug it real quick. And then I was like, you know what? Forget that. I am going to just take this to Discount Tire and pay them to do it. So I'll go to Discount Tire, uh, tell them what I got. They go out there, they, you know, uh, fix it. They come back in, he's, you know, 20 minutes goes by or so. I mean, it was pretty quick. Uh, so he comes in and he's like, are you waiting on the trailer out here? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, oh, you're, you're good to go. You're ready. And I'm like, oh, okay. I said, well, what I, what I owe you? He's like, oh, you don't owe us anything. I'm like, what? <clears throat> he said, we fix, uh, we do flat repair for free. I'm like, I never knew that. Never once did I know. Because I didn't buy these tires from them. So I don't understand the flat repair for free thing. I don't know, but it was cool. So I was like, okay. Um, well, uh, so I just opened my wallet up and I gave the guy a 20. And I said, well, here, like, buy pizza or something and he's like oh it'll go to the person who you know did did your uh he's like well i'll find out who did it 
So it happened to be uh, some younger, I mean very younger kid. Uh, he was probably 18 to 21 maybe. <clears throat> and uh, he came running out like I made it to the end of the trailer and he came running out. He's like, thank you, sir. I'm like, oh man, you're welcome. He's like, uh, that that made my day, and uh, you know, all that. We started talking. I was like, dude, I, I didn't know they did free flat repair, but anyway, Discount Tire does free free bit 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 free flat repair, I guess. Uh, so yeah, so I took it to him, and you know, I mean, I, <clears throat> it saved me time from doing it. Well, it saved me from doing it myself, and uh, whatever, you know. So I just gave him a twenty dollar tip so yeah so i was going to get up early this morning and i was going to work and well it started raining last night and it rained pretty good most of the night and then uh wake up this morning and they're calling for rain most of the day now and it wasn't supposed to do anything at all so uh knock on wood thank goodness you know i'll take the rain i'll I'll be behind and uh, I'll double and triple mow and still have a job next week compared to uh, how dry it was because it was so dry that I, I had already people uh, that I was skipping this week. So <clears throat> um, yes, thank goodness for the rain. I'm glad it, it came in. Uh, like I said, I mean, I'll, I'll take the rain, I'll, I'll double triple cut whatever i have to do to get these properties back in shape but uh at least i still have a job as of right now i'm not just lollygagging so anyway uh back to the truck um i've still got to install that that thing my goodness it's been crazy i got a new tonic cover coming i got a uh storage compartment for inside the truck bed uh, like one day I'm just going to pull the truck in we're going to install all of this stuff because it's a lot like I ordered a lot uh new trimmer line I ordered new trimmer line too so when I I used that yesterday so I'll let you know my thoughts on that a little later because I really want to use it more but as of right now it's definitely definitely not bad uh, I'm, I'm kind of impressed as of right now. Now, mind you, I've only used it for two days. So, uh, mowers are still clean for the moment. Probably not going to stay like that for sure. The garage is a disaster. <clears throat> so, yesterday, I get a flat, right? So, while I get a flat, these clients of mine, I've pretty much got on a schedule. You know, I mean, I, they... They know I'll, I'll be there when I get there, but I still like keeping people updated. I'm gonna tell you a little bit. Well, I'm gonna give you some more reasons of why I like Jobber, okay? Because one, not only are you gonna see me talking about it, but you're gonna see it. Uh, so one, I can go into this and while I am, you know, waiting on this tire, I can be like, hey, how long is this, you know, gonna take? They'd be like, oh, 15 minutes, so. You know, I know I got 15 minutes there, so I might as well just round up to 20. Then, you know, however long it's gonna take me to get to Susie Q's property. So let's say I'm 45 minutes away, 40, whatever it may, it may be. So I can go in to this app, one, and I can just click on uh, the client, and I can go to this text up here in the far right corner, click on that, and then, as you see, I have different options of time frames that you know it'll send them a, a text that says hey sorry i'm running late i'll be there in blah 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 amount of minutes love that because now i don't have these people messaging me in the afternoon going are you coming today so second i, I can't tell you how easy it is once again to add clients to this um i i still can't get over this feature of adding clients because it's saved me so much time to be able to add clients, add their property on the go, on the fly, uh, everything. I put in the thing, um, you know, as they're whatever, uh, you know, we're sitting there talking or whatever, and I'm getting all their information, their email address. That's the best time to do it is get it while you're there, right? In my opinion. So 
get it while you're there. And, you know, you're entering all this information, la di da di da And then, then, boom. Then, as you're looking at the property, then you can add all this other stuff to it. <laughs> so when you mow their lawn for the first time, you've already, you know, uh, <clears throat> you've already got a good uh, view of their property. They want you to come for mowing. Hey, bushes need trimming. Uh, weeds need pulling out of the flower beds. So you know what? After I send this invoice, or when I send this invoice, I'm going to add options to it optional lines here and these optional lines are going to be a hey, uh bush trimming you know hedge trimming uh whatever weed pulling for the flower bed blah 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 and they can accept that you know i mean and then boom you just turned a uh something you just noticed while you were mowing or while you were there talking to the client into a uh, into a job and now you got more money more money coming in yeah it's phenomenal invoices uh, so far, I really do like the invoice part of this as well because I can go to my invoice part and it tells me you've got this many invoices out, you've got this many awaiting payment. Uh, my problem <laughs> is I had like a lot of these set to like net 30. So now I got some of these clients that are newer that think they can pay within 30 days. <clears throat> and they're behind so yeah so i had to go in and change that you can change that okay just no watch for that when you're setting this stuff up you can have it to where it sends them updates as well if they've got a past due invoice it'll send them an update saying hey you need to pay your bill miss uh suzy q so it, jobber just makes everything so much more simplified guys just go check it out see if it's something you're interested in it takes nothing but your time to go click the link below check it out see if it's something you're interested in so i've used other softwares and look let me tell you there's there's in my opinion there's no comparison to how easy and simplified jobber has made this software for us to use to be able to make it so save us so much time on the go and on the fly that we can just enter the information we need, get stuff done when we need, send invoices on the on the go. I mean, you know, you're not having to come home and do all this work. You you can literally mark a job complete, send the invoice right then and there, and be done with it. And you're you're it's over. You're you're done. The end. And you you go home and you eat dinner and relax, enjoy time with your family. Once again, link down below. Just go check it out. Once again, see if it's right for you. If it's not, hey, I get it. It's not for everybody. I'm not saying that, oh my God, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread, people. I'm not saying that. I'm saying it is very good software. And it may take you a second to get used to it, but there's really not that big of a learning curve to this software like most. So... Go check it out. See what you think. Uh, the rain. Oh, my God. You know, look. There's a bird. It's a bird. Okay. I was exhausted, so I kind of am happy the rain came in. Uh, got that to install. I got that hard. <laughs> I bought a new tonic. Guys, I bought so much stuff to do to the truck because I was looking at buying a new truck, okay? This is the thing. I was looking at buying a new truck. <laughs> And uh, it had been about eight months since I washed my truck. And I said, oh, well, I need to wash the truck and trailer. And so I pulled it out here. I washed the trailer. I washed the truck. And once I got it washed, I was like, man, that is, I still like that truck. So I decided I was just going to keep it. So I was like, if I spend some money on it, that I wouldn't want to get rid of it. So, uh, so yeah, that's that's kind of what I did, I guess. Um, I don't know. I really do still like my truck a lot. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I still don't use no oil. Uh, I don't, look, there comes the rain. Uh, it don't smoke. I mean, it's been a great truck. And I know how it's been taken care of because I pretty much bought it uh, close to being new. So, why get rid of it? I don't have a payment. 
I'm the one that's did all the maintenance to it. I mean, it just didn't make sense to me. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna run that thing into the ground, forget it, save my money, invest it somewhere else. That's, that's how I feel about it. Yes, I like the new trucks, but I don't feel I have to have one uh, to show off for anybody at all. So, yeah, so that's why I bought a new cover. Like, I don't like the trifo top on that. Uh, it's either all the way back or all the way closed. And I didn't really, I don't know, I, I like it, but I don't like it because it's got a latchy pull and then you got to flip it and uh, blah, blah. Anyway, so I was like, you know what? I started looking at the retractable ones that uh, just release and fold in. And so I ended up buying one of those and then I, everything's pretty much kind of blacked out. I don't know, not blacked out, but it's, <clears throat> the tail lights just look super stupid weird to me now that uh, I don't know. So uh, I ended up looking into smoked tail lights. So yeah, I'm gonna get them as well. You know, I don't know, we'll see what happens. So anyway, uh, yeah, all right guys. That's gonna do it. If you have any questions, I don't know, ask away. Uh, this was just a short, crazy video. <clears throat> Wanted to let you know how easy it was for me to, you know, not only just send invoices, but uh, do different things with the jobber. And let you, remind you again for, just go try it. Go try it. Okay, just go try it right now, go try it.